Hello, my name is Devin, and welcome to Module 6, Urbanization and Morphology. Urban morphology looks at the patterns of built environments over time, and it has a subfield that deals with the social forms that are expressed in the physical layout of the city. The philosopher Lefebvre observed that the urban form is what makes revolutions possible in the sense that it provides the space for new thinking and the mixing of new ideas. Lefebvre was known for pioneering the critique of everyday life, the production of social space, and the idea of the right to the city, which we come back to in the discussion for the video in Module 7. Complexity science has offered us explanations of how urban environments develop in a more organic way through the emergence of uncoordinated actions of multiple individuals. Patterns emerge of nonlinear, dynamic self-organization. The texts for today uh, include two studies on uh, household surveys looking into mobility patterns, and they find that factors such as social status and gender have an impact on how people decide to move around in a city. Also, culturally contingent factors between different cities. The second text is a seminal article in sustainable, sustainability thinking. It's by Campbell from 1996, and it still reads as extremely relevant today. It introduces the triangle of resource, economic, and social sustainability, and the tensions therein. The fourth text by Brenners is a look at how we can theorize urbanization now that it's been generalized onto a planetary scale, global urbanization. And the last text for today looks at the limitations of individualistic approaches to promoting sustainability practices. I hope you enjoy the model module today and until next time.